In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy Ben token. I'm going to try to make it as fast as possible, so let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is download the MetaMask or Trust Wallet. In this video, I will obviously be using MetaMask. And to download MetaMask, you just need to go to metamask.io, hit the download button, and it will give you the options for all three, Chrome, iOS, or Android. In this example video, we are going to be using Chrome, which I already have pre-downloaded. With that being said, the next thing we will do is you can pin your MetaMask icon to your Chrome to make life easier for you. And then what we're going to do is click on the icon. Once you do that, it will be asking you for your password. So we are going to enter the password right now as the fox watches us. And this is what the MetaMask is going to look like on the default screen. I don't believe it will have you pre-connected to the Ethereum mainnet. So all you would have to do is click on this in the top left hand corner. Click on Add Networks. When you do, it will bring you to this page right here. Scroll down to where it says networks, type in ETH, that will load up Ethereum mainnet right here. Tap on that, hit add network. At that point, Ethereum mainnet should be showing in your MetaMask wallet. The last major step that you need to know about is putting money into the MetaMask wallet. You can either buy it and deposit it directly, or if you already have a Coinbase ledger where you do have some Ethereum, you can tap right here, copy that address, and then post it into wherever you are sending the crypto from. And within a couple minutes, it should be showing here. Next, what we want to do is go to the Uniswap website, uniswap.org. Just hit launch application. And when you do, it is going to pop up asking, which wallet do you want to use? And it will say on my computer, it sees MetaMask and Phantom. So I'm going to end up tapping on MetaMask. And once you click on that, it is going to show that Ethereum is right here and it's going to give you an option of token. We are going to tap select token and we are going to type B E N. If we take a look right here, the one with the three arrows is the one we're looking for. Be very careful. In the past, I have seen other bends showing up over here. This is the official one. Again, look for B E N. So we're going to tap on that. Next, what we're going to do is put the amount of ETH that we want. Since we already made the deposit, it shows right here the amount of ETH that we have, which is 007. So we're going to type in 0 0.007. If we do this, it's going to show $13.04 is going to be sent. The issue is if I put the full 0 0.007 in and I hit swap, it will tell us to confirm the swap. It is going to pop up saying that we do not have enough for gas fees. So what we're going to do real quick is reject. And for the sake of this video, because gas fees do seem a little high, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put 0 0.004, which is $7.45. And with gas fees, I believe that would still regularly be too high, at least for when I'm doing this right now. So I'm going to hit confirm swap. It does indeed say that gas fees are too high, but I'm going to come over here where the little fox is. I'm going to tap the market and I'm going to hit lower fees. I normally don't rec recommend this. However, it will send the transaction through. It will just go much slower. And I don't mind that for this situation. So with that being said, I'm going to hit confirm. And now it is submitting the order right now. Right, again, in the top right hand corner, oops, it just got finished. It was showing pending. So what we're going to do now is hit on the MetaMask icon again. All right. And then what we're going to tap on is tokens. Right here, it shows that I have $7.49 and Ben token. And if I ended up wanting to send it, I would just tap on it and then hit send and put whatever Ethereum wallet I feel comfortable with. At this point in time, I'm going to wait for fees to drop down a little bit and I'll probably put a little bit more money into Ben token and then send it over to my ledger. Hopefully this video made life easy for you. Hopefully it was a full explanation that you found helpful. If it did, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, take care, spike your hair, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.